guys, I will show you how to resolve merge conflicts on VS Code today. So on GitHub I have a repo called demo resolve merge conflicts and in the repo we have a markdown file called readme. So if you look at the last sentence of the markdown file it says some text from the GitHub main branch. And what I've done here is I've cloned the repo and set it up on VS Code. And in the local main branch, I've added the text, some text from the local main branch. And I've saved the file and made a commit. And at this stage, if we went git pull. So what I tried to do here is I tried to pull the GitHub main branch to local main branch and we can see that now there is a merge conflict. So if you look at our merge conflict, there are several options. So we can accept current change, which will be keeping our local main branch version of it, or we can accept incoming change, which will be keeping our GitHub version of it, depending on which version is the latest, we will choose one of those. Or in some cases, we want to keep both of these changes. So for now, we will just choose accept current change. And from here, we can save. And we can make some comments. Resolving merge conflicts. And we can stage the file. And then make the commit. Cool. Now going back to our GitHub repo, refreshing that, and now we see that that sentence there has changed to what we had in our local main branch. Cool, that's about it guys. This is how you resolve merge conflicts on VS Code. I think VS Code makes it super intuitive and super accessible. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and hope this is something you can use in everyday workflow. Make sure to subscribe for more short tutorials like this. Thank you for watching guys.